This is the ETBU Sportsnet. We're here with head women's basketball coach Edsel Hamilton. Coach, great week for the Tigers. You guys go 2-0 last week. Clinch a spot in the ASC tournament with wins over Ozarks and Texas Dallas. Recap that week for us. Uh, it was great to get to two wins like that. You know, we, we, we had to have them to get into the tournament. So uh, I think the girls really rose to the occasion and, um, and, and played big when they needed to. You know, it's, it's always tough to win on the road, but especially when your backs are against the wall. And, you know, I think when we played Ozarks, they were – I think they were mathematically still alive to get in the tournament as well. So, um, you know, you're playing against a team that's also desperate for a win. So and we started off the game really well. I think we were up 30-9 to nine at one point. You know, they were having a hard time scoring, but our defense was doing a really good job against them. And uh, we played hard, and then, you know, we let them catch up a little bit again, but then we uh, were able to pull away in the end to get a double-digit win. So uh, that was great. And then the, the Dallas game was, was – probably the most exciting game we've had this year. I mean, we were uh, – we, we didn't start off very well. I thought we I thought we played okay. I thought our defense was okay, and we were giving up the shots that we were willing to give up, and they were hitting them. And, uh, you know, offensively, I thought we moved the ball well, but uh, we weren't hitting shots. So, um, you know, so we, we got down early, and, and we just kind of hung around and hung around. And, uh, you know, right there at the end, I think we were down nine with about five minutes left, and we just had a furious comeback. And – uh, you know, I had I think I think I had at least three and maybe all four seniors out there for for a good chunk of that, and you could just tell like they did not want to go down uh, without a fight. And so I was just I was really proud of the way that they competed late in the game, and they just kept fighting and kept fighting and and made a lot of big plays. You know, Morgan hit a couple big threes, Ambrosia hit a big shot, April made some big free throws. Uh, you know, Secret got a, a lot of rebounds and. Uh, all of them did did some big things to to help us win that game, and it was it was a lot of fun to be a part of that game. One regular season game left doesn't count on the conference schedule because it's Bellhaven in there in their first year of the conference, right here at home on Thursday night. Talk about finishing up your season at home. Well, yeah, I mean the game uh, doesn't count towards our standings, but it still counts toward our record. And I want to win, and I definitely want to win for our seniors. You know, I want them to go out at home. Uh, you know, this this be our last home game of the year, so I want them to go out with a with a victory. Uh, you know, they've they've all four of them have had good careers here. Um, you know, whether it's April and Morgan haven't been here for four years, and uh, Secret Ambrosia haven't transferred in. So, um, you know, I think they've. You know, we haven't had. You know, looking back, I think our year has been has been good. You know, when I set kind of realistic expectations at the beginning of the year, we've kind of met those. You know, having gone through it, you know, I feel like we should have won some games that we didn't win, but. But on the whole, I think we've had a good year, and I think it was uh, really good for those seniors to have a good year like that. And so it would only be fitting to, to go out right. And, and Bellhaven's tough. They're playing well right now. I mean, their their record's not great, but uh, Laterno was a really good team that, that beat us pretty bad last week, and, and Bellhaven beat them. And, you know, I watched the first half of that game yesterday, and, and they were winning pretty easily for a good chunk of that game. So uh, they're going to come out fighting because, uh, you know, they're desperate for wins too, even though it doesn't count. You know, they're playing for pride at this point. So – um, you know, we need to we need to bring it to compete and uh, to win against them. And, and I think our girls will. One last question. Taylor Alexander, ASC East Player of the Week, getting the, re the, re the award again this season. Talk about her getting this award. Yeah, again, I think it's it's well deserved. I think uh, Taylor's just really continued to improve and continue to improve. And, you know, she's only a sophomore and I think she can keep getting better. And, you know, like I said, I, I think already she she might be the best all-around post player in the league. She's certainly one of them, um, you know, as far as being able to score and rebound and defend. And um, so I, I'm really proud of her. I think it's it's great for her to get that recognition. I'd, I'd love for her to get uh, all conference. And, you know, getting these kind of awards are only get her more intention to give her a chance to do that. Because, um, like I said, I think as a junior and as a senior, she's going to have a chance to, to be in the mix for conference player of the year if she keeps improving the way that she did this year. So – uh, really proud of her, and it's obviously it's just it's great to get recognition for our whole team. Anytime an individual player gets an award, uh, it's good for your team because uh, you know they can't do it by themselves. Somebody had to pass her the ball and um, and all that kind of stuff. So really, really happy for her and happy for our team. All right, coach. Thanks for talking to us here on the ETBU Sportsnet.